Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the difference between the providers and also the view providers. So I will try to explain you the difference between these two. And also before learning about these providers and view providers, first of all, we need to understand about the template view structure or the logical structure of the template. How the structure of the template will be described or will be rendered in the Angular, we need to understand. Then only we can able to understand what is the service injected in the component and what is the service that are uh, that are not injected. So how the services are getting injected and the difference between the providers and view providers. So we need to understand about this one. So now when you pro first of all, when you provide a services in the component class, this is, this is a common thing. So all normally you will provide the services in a component class using the constructor. Services are visible within the element, element injector tree. So we have already seen the three levels application and the parent level and the element injector we have seen it right so here whenever you inject the services in the component services will be there in the element injector tree relative to where and how you provide these services okay understanding the underlying logical structure of the angular template will give you a foundation for configuring the services and in turn control their visibility so this is uh, so you need to understand the logical structure for example let's say that you are having a app iphone parent and here in this one, let's say that you are having this app iPhone parent. So I will give you a simple example for this one. Let's say that I am having an app iPhone parent. Inside this one, I am having an app iPhone chain. So that means inside the app iPhone parent, I am providing this one, not an ng content. Don't think there is an ng content. So just the logical structure of the uh, structure of the template will be like this. So <clears throat> internally, the template will be constructed in such a way that so don't think that this hash view will be inject will be rendered. So just for the understanding purpose, I have added this hash view where normally this hash view will not be injected in between this app route. So just for underlying purpose, how the things will be uh, added, so how the things will be rendered, I am trying to explain you like this. So now here, this is the app iPhone root and inside this one, the view will be started. And in this view, you will be having an app iPhone child. And again, for the app iPhone child, you again, you will be having a view and the content goes here like this and the view will be ended and this view will be ended like this, it will be ended. So this is how the logical structure of the template will look like. So the next one which I want to tell you is how you provide the services using a component or direct decorate or directive. Decorator determines their visibility. So now you will be providing the services in the services in the component or the directive. So they according to their visibility. The following section, the following uh, so sections demonstrate providers and view providers along with the ways to modify services with the skip self and host. I will try to explain you this one in the next video. First, let us understand about these providers and also the view providers. Mm -hmm. So normally what I want to tell you is <clears throat> how you will provide a component class can provide the services in two ways. So how you can provide the services in component class in two ways. One is within providers array and uh, providers array. So here you will provide a great component with the providers and the array of services. And another one is with a view providers array. What is the difference between these two? We will try to understand it. So one by one, clearly we will try to understand it. So another one is with a view provider array. So let's try to understand about this one. First, we will understand how this uh, provider array will work. Then afterwards, we'll understand about this view providers. In this video, we will understand only the provider array, how we how it will work. For this one, I will demonstrate a simple example, real-time example. Let's try to see. So for this one, what I will do it is I will create a new file that is nothing but new file means new service in our uh, services. Let's go to the services. Here I am creating a new service flower dot service dot ts file okay and why is this not coming okay so here i have i need to rename it i have given instead of com dot i have given comma okay so this is our ts file and here i will use export class flower service okay and inside this one you will be having an emoji is equal to and i will uh, use this hibiscus uh, pink color hibiscus flower so that you can able to understand clearly in the angular documentation also they have given the same example so i want to use the same example so i don't want to go through tough thing yeah you can understand and here in this one i will be injecting at the rate injectable injectable and i will use provided in provided in root so that means it is provided in the application config okay so in the root config it is provided fine now this is our flower Let's go to the app.component.html file. So that is our root thing app.component.html file. In this one, I will add only the parent. Okay. 
So I'm adding only the parent. That means let's go to the parent.component.ts file. In the parent.component.ts file, okay. So here I'm removing the providers. So now I want to inject the flower service, okay. Constructor, let's inject the public. I'm using the public so that I can directly use this flower service there. Flower service of flower service, okay. And this is our constructor. Let's go into the parent.component.html file and here I will remove emoji from flower service and this one is parent component and here I will try to use uh, flower service dot emoji okay and if you try to see the output for this one so what could be the output so here you will be able to see a hibiscus flower so that is common thing why because so here in our parent dot component dot ts file so there is no providers or view providers mentioned in this one so here when you try to check for the flower service it will go to the parent in the app component it will not find it there in the app component it will go to the root injector okay so root and the application config injector it will go and there it will be able to find that flower service why because it is added as a provided in root so it can able to find it and the emoji plant it is able to get it fine let's go to the another component that is nothing but child component so here in this one i will i will add a component that is nothing but app iphone child okay so this is our child component and here let's go to the child component.ts file so here in the child component.ts file and here i will remove this all constructor and here i will try to uh, inject the flower service again so here i will try to do public flower service okay here also i will be having one flower service so this is our flower service and now here in this child component also same thing i will try to do emoji from flower service this is child component okay child component and i will try to use the same thing flower service uh, dot emoji okay and if you try to see here in the child component also you'll be able to see the hibiscus flower only why because if you try to go into this child component.ts file we haven't provided any providers or anything and it will try to go to the up and up and up like that and it will be able to find the service instance in the application config and it will be able to get the flower service and the flower service represents the hibiscus thing now what I will try to do it is I will provide a here in the providers area. So here I will use the providers and now I will override this flower service. So here provide flower service. Okay. Provide flower service. And here I will use uh, use value instead of that one use value of emoji. So we'll be having only the emoji, right? Emoji. Instead of having this uh, hibiscus, I will provide the sunflower. Okay. So the sunflower icon, I will provide it so that it can able to get it easily. Now here I am providing the sun, sunflower. Okay. So this is the sunflower. So just for information. Now if you try to see the output for this one, see this one now with the child component, we are able to get it as a sunflower. What it, why it is happening here? The child component, when it tries to get the, get the service instance of this flower service, it will go to its providers and it able to see that okay the providers it is having the flower service and it has directly used this sunflower thing when it doesn't find it went to the parent so this is how we will be able to see now if you want to uh, if you want to uh, write the logical structure of this template how the parent and child relationship has been happened is if you try to see it in the notepad i have given this one so for example let's say that you are ha you are having a app parent and from app parent the flower service is getting it from the pink hibiscus it is getting it from the application form config why because for in the parent.component.ts file i haven't provided anything in the provider so that means it is directly getting it from the application config so i have written it like this for the understandable purpose so don't think that this will be rendered like this in the back end it will be compiled like this don't think like that just for the uh, understandable purpose i have used it and now you are having your app hyphen parent view will start it here and we have written the emoji from from flower service this template we have written it and next we are having an app in child in this one i have provided the flower service from the sunflower so now when you write write the flower dot emoji it will go to its view providers first it will check it in the view so it, uh, it doesn't able to search starts from here it will able, uh, it doesn't find anything flower service and it will go to the app iphone child and it has provided and it has able to find the flower service instance with the sunflower so it stops searching up to here and it will output the sunflower so this is how the actually the providers will be happening so this is how the work. So now the view providers, where how it will happen, we'll try to see it in the next video. So this is how the providers actually in the logical structure of the template, how it will work. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.